Hi everyone, welcome to Weepy World, and uh, this is uh, Winnerful here. I am being a person who has been associated with the industry for the last 15 to 20 years, and I've been dabbled into uh, banking, real estate, telecom, logistics, and you name it, and uh, I have had uh, loads of experience over there. And so I believe that this is a subject that uh, we have to address uh, in these times. You see, there's a topic uh, today what I'm going to talk to you about is personal branding and corporate branding. Personal branding is different from corporate branding and corporate branding is different from personal branding. And these days we find that, you know, there are a lot of uh, companies that are spending a lot on branding activities. So when it actually comes to branding, at that time we have to I, I understand as to what is branding. So when you say branding, at that time branding can be some form of an identity, a logo or a statement to say as to what that product or that service is going to be uh, like uh, in a perceived uh, or perception of the consumer. And the companies take different activities starting from marketing to sales and promotion to be able to get this uh, value incorporated into the minds of the consumers. Uh, for example, you can uh, you know, associate uh, with uh, an Audi or a Volkswagen as a style statement. Right? And uh, if you are looking into uh, something like uh, Amazon, you know, Amazon has really changed the B2C concept of our uh, the way we consume uh, all these uh, products nowadays. And so, what is personal branding? Personal branding is something where, you know, it is not about company, but it's about your identity and that you are using, uh, you know, different forms to push forward your identity. Your identity also resonates with the type of the voice and with the type of communication that you want to go out in the world. So, you can be there on, uh, you know, YouTube, you can be there on Facebook, you can be there on Instagram, and you can post and you can, uh, you know, uh, keep communicating with your followers and engage and uh, you know you can develop this some people they develop this as a site kick and later on that they find that yeah this was what you know that uh, they are enjoying and they would like to make it to be a full-time thing so you really have to gauge and see as to what exactly works for you there is no any clear-cut rules for this because a lot of time has to be also spent on um, developing all of these as well so if you are already into something that is mainstream, then it's better to focus on that mainstream and then, you know, do this as a side activity. But if you're something like, you know, oh, I want to develop my personal brand and make it big into the, uh, into the coming days, then, you know, you may as well, you know, uh, take a break from the mainstream activity that you are and you may, you know, invest your time and energy and hone your skills and develop your skills in this area and uh, bring your personal brand. It also involves a lot of networking and a lot of things uh, as to be updated with the current trends that are happening in the digital world. And, uh, you know, from that, from where, you know, you can move from one level to the other level. So I hope, you know, you just got an understanding as to what is corporate branding and what is personal branding. Corporate branding is something to do with the companies over there and personal branding is more so individual over there. And by branding, it means, you know, that is you establish a form of identity or a source of uh, uh, recognition or a source of value in, your, in the perception uh, of the how things are perceived to be and uh, it's a very very important function for uh, the product manager when he undertakes this in companies because uh, I have also been part of certain branding activities um, and uh, so and I have uh, been a part of various industries and so I can say that you know like this is a very ongoing and evolving and a very very continuous function and depending on the size of the company and the scope and the scale of the company they invest into this uh, the marketing is there the R and department is there and uh, you know they invest into this and they try to develop the corporate brands over there but if it's personal branding that is more so related to your personal things personal stuff personal likes personal interests and so the message that you want to convey is all there in the personal branding some people like to play around with photos and so you can say that they juggle around a lot with they juggle around a lot with these photos and images and all that you have instagram posts and hashtags and all those kinds of things trending there some people are very active and busy on twitter and some people are you know 
connected with a lot of other uh, uh, common uh, social media handles uh, like uh, you know Facebook and uh, WhatsApp and a uh, lot of these things as well. So TikTok and uh, lots of many other things. So, when Pinterest also for some uh, for that matter. And so uh, you know, I hope uh, this uh, 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 this short talk has uh, really helped you to get some sort of form of an insight into uh, the corporate branding and personal branding. Into the coming days, we'll be talking a lot more about uh, branding aspect and what are the elements that go into it, and what are the strategy, and how one can develop it, and all. But for now, that's all uh, I have for you today. And uh, I hope that you uh, this video, this uh, talk has made some sense to you. And uh, yes, of course, there's a week also uh, we have posted in YouTube and you can check that out as well uh, in your free time I'll drop the description links below and if you still have any comments or something uh, do let us know and we'll be glad to uh, help you out as much as we can so adios amigo and I'll see you soon once again